you want a supermodel pose i'm your real friend winnie hey babes so today i want to come to you guys with a little chill video a little get ready with me if you're new here hello if you're a returning subscriber welcome back babe sorry i've been a little mia but as you can see i'm coming with the content for 2020 so you guys really liked my last makeup tutorial where i kind of showed you my soft glam you know look and I guess I wanted to come to you and show you a quicker, more everyday version of that. Something that I wear a lot more often. Like I said in that video, I don't wear makeup every day, of course. Uh, well, I don't know. Some people do. No judgment because I'm so here for that level of slay, but I'm just not there yet. <laughs> Can we just start off by saying my skin is doing a lot better it's still not perfect by far but girl she is working with me um now on a day like this i don't really wear primer i know i know um all the makeup gurus that i love like swear by primer but honestly on a regular day i don't do primer i'm going to start off with concealer and i'm low-key running out um this is the tarte i'm tarte what um, this is the Too Faced Concealer, the Multi-Sculpt Concealer, and I'm using the color Warm Sand. I'm just going to put this under my eyes, little chin, little on the forehead, this whole situation right here, because around my mouth it gets really dark. <laughs> I look crazy! And then I'll hit a couple of spots. I have like dark marks mix with, mixed with freckles it's all type of just girl but I kind of just roll with it I'm not really trying to cover up everything I just want to get more of like an even tone so first I blend out everything on my face I like to let my concealer under my eyes sit for a second oh for this entire look pretty much I'm using the sculpting brush from real techniques i love this brush i've had this brush for years i bought it as a part of a trio um and i'm obsessed with real techniques brushes i really need to get some more but i'm gonna just use this and just pouncing in one place i really want to get a lot of coverage in this area and i'm just taking whatever is left and blurring out those edges so this concealer isn't too much lighter than my skin tone, but everything's gonna get blended out in the end, I swear. Like, it's gonna all make sense. When I'm doing this, it honestly takes me about like, I would say like realistically like 15 minutes. Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the color Light Medium and lightly setting under my eyes. I have really oily skin and I use lots of moisturizer and I use a really thick moisturizer. So that's pretty much my primer. So my normal skin is hella oily. And yeah, so I need powder. On my everyday routine, I focus a lot more on powder than I do on like the cream. The only cream I use is my concealer. There's no foundation, I don't cream contour, like everything is pretty much powder after that. So this second powder. <laughs> is that same Maybelline Fit Me powder, but this shade is deep and it is really pretty. I love this shade. Then I'm gonna set my face. And you see this powder brings me a lot of color back to my face since my concealer is kind of light. Then I'm just taking this brush with no product and I'm just blending it out. Making sure I didn't come too far up with that dark color. Taking the excess and kind of running it over my brows because I don't like to do my brows when they're super oily. For blush, y'all already know I have been obsessed with this e.l.f. palette in the color light. I used to use a uh, e.l.f. palette in dark, but ever since I fell in love with blush, I'm starting to explore with the colors and I'm loving, loving light pinks. So on a regular day, I will mix this one and this one. So first I like to go in with this one and I bring it all the way back on my cheekbone and I run it a bit over the tip of my nose and then I use this one like on the apples of my cheeks and I blend them back a little bit and run it more over my nose and I just think it looks so cute and y'all know I love me some Doja Cat so she did like a Vogue tutorial and she did the same thing <laughs> Now to add a little shum shum under my eyes because y'all know I like a bright under eye. I'm going to use this Sephora Collection powder. People sleep on Sephora Collection. Sephora Collection is actually like Sephora's brand makeup. So like, you know, Walmart has Walmart brand. Target has Target brand and they'll mix it in. The Sephora Collection, girl. I actually got put onto this powder by Alyssa Ashley. But when I went, they didn't have the micro smooth. So I ended up getting this matte perfection powder foundation and i use the color sable really light and i'm just gonna pop this right 
under my eye and blend it down into the blush because sometimes I get a little carried away. And it just adds a little bit of brightness and also a little more coverage because it is a powder foundation. For bronzer, y'all gonna be so proud of me because I'm finally stepping away from my It's My Ray Ray palette. I know, I know. It's the NYX Matte Bronzer in Dark Tan. And I'm still using my curved down bronzer technique. So I'm not just doing the back, I'm doing the back and bringing it down right here. With a little fluffy crease brush. This one is from Luxie. It is the 249 brush from Luxie. I'm going to run a little bit of this blush on my eyelid and in my crease as well. Just for a little warmth. For brows, I'm going to use this Ultra Slim Brow Pencil from Maybelline. I used to be really into pomades, but I don't know. These micro brow pencils that just are like retractable are perfect because you don't have to clean your brush when it gets all like gunky and thick. It's just perfect little hair strokes every time. I'm obsessed. So I focus more on the tail where it's a bit sparse. I really try not to go too crazy. Then I just brush it out. And I mean, that still looks pretty natural to me. I don't know. Now this is my trouble brow because I have like this little gap in it. But the funny thing is that it's not the cutest without makeup. But when I fill it in, she be showing out like sis. She be leaving sis in the dust sometimes. And on my, you know, no makeup makeup days, I really try to get the brows right. So that I don't have to do concealer around them. Because honestly, at that point, you might as well just do a full beat. Okay? Walk away from the brows. There is nothing more you can do for them. You have done your best. For lips, I'm going to just use this Sephora Collection Gloss. This is in Karma. They sent this for me. I worked with them this year, I believe, on an Instagram campaign. And they sent me this gloss. And I'm obsessed with it. I actually have a few more of their products that I really, really like. So if you guys would be interested in seeing like a full Sephora Collection look, let me know. I already know I'm going to do a full Fenty Beauty look. Because I plan on buying so much Fenty Beauty makeup in 2020. I was just waiting to run out of a few things. Because I literally had like a lot of foundations, a lot of concealers, and all they dropped was like complexion products. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> but I've really been focused on like paying off debts and just adulting this year. <laughs> Ignorance was bliss. Ignorance was bliss. But yeah, that's the lip. I love how bipolar I am. And let me put my moles back because I feel naked. And for mascara, I'm going to pop on this Sephora collection. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let me not do Sephora collection. Let's see what other mascara do I have. Well, no, because I, I typically don't use this within tutorials. But it is one of my favorites. So I'm going to use the Lashcraft Big Volume Mascara. Oh, I love that sound. My lash is about to be popping. I love a good lash. I don't wear false lashes, so I love a good mascara. Like mascara actually matters to me. Let's get close. Let, let me let me let's get into this. All right, got the first coat popping. I run a little bit over my bottom lashes just so they don't have concealer on them, but not enough to really define them. I want the lifting effect of the top lashes to be real with you well if you want complete transparency on this channel i throw on a little bit of extra blush when i'm done with everything <laughs> hi my name is winnie and i'm addicted to blush we all supposed to say hi winnie did you say hi winnie rude and insensitive it's 2019 get it together I look like Winnie Lou Who at this point. And if I'm being completely transparent as well, I'm still gonna cut this cheek. I do not care. This is the Trader Joe's Rose Water Spray. I love this stuff. As you can see, I definitely need to get some more. drown you want to drown so this is the final look it's very mauvey and pink i really love this look and i guess maybe i was more inspired by like my jewelry and what i'm wearing or whatever <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this everyday makeup tutorial i hope that you found some little tips and tricks that you want to use in your routine if so definitely comment down below and let me know or comment down below and let me know some tips and tricks that you have for me you're my friends in my head even though sometimes i feel like i'm talking to myself because i kind of am 
it's whatever so comment down below so we can talk to each other and if you haven't seen my last makeup tutorial then definitely check that out because it's a banger okay okay peace